Lucky ones, welcome back to the channel. We just got a recent update for settings that went under the radar. When Iron Trials came out for trios, we also got an update for Warzone movement. And now I got the best settings for you guys. Yes, yeah, so right. I'll be going over the settings for not only Warzone, but Rebirth as well. That's going to help improve not only your movement, but your recoil control. Because I think those are the two biggest categories when it comes down to being the best Warzone player you possibly could be. Let me know in the comment section below what game are you currently playing. Now, I know they're both Call of Duty, but is it Rebirth you're grinding out a lot? with your friends or is it gonna be warzone anyways guys if you enjoy the video enjoy the gameplay that's going along with it make sure you guys leave a like and subscribe if you guys are new with those push notifications on so you guys know every single time we upload a new video i got a lot more projects and a lot more videos cooking up for you guys man so i don't want you to miss it so again make sure you have those push notifications on so you guys know every single time I upload a new video let's jump into it so if you guys been watching me for a while or at least since my last uh settings video i have changed some things around and the first thing we talk about is field of view now for reaper specifically i noticed that the fights i'm going to be taking are a lot quicker and you don't need that 120 field of view to be playing on uh that advantage isn't gonna be as great as if you're playing warzone but i do find myself trying to meet somewhere in the middle and so you know being on pc taking advantage of that so i go ahead and crank that to 115 the brightness is going to be at 60 as well and as well on those pc users make sure you change field of view advance and go ahead and switch that to affected everything in that category usually stays the same now we'll go down to accessibility and this is something i change that gets controversial over on twitch man it's going to be my subtitles now i have my subtitles on enable and the reason for that is if i hear a lot of my teammates calling out or an intense situation especially if i'm playing those custom game tournaments i want to make sure that i'm hearing everything in my ear but it also helps me to visually see if you know there's an airstrike coming in if an enemy is coming back in so that is what the subtitles is going to help me now i could get Get annoying for you guys but something like me i mean i i watch anime and you know a japanese sub so i'm chilling with that but i would highly recommend if you go to just do it you you go ahead and put that on enabled now everything else in the general tab is gonna pretty much stay the same i'll go ahead and flash it on the screen of what i'm actually rocking but the reason for that is usually just i mean it's gonna be common sense but we want to go ahead and we're gonna flop all the way over to the controller because i want to jump down the category and jump down some of the newer settings were added into the game so if you guys don't know i'm a more of an old-fashioned gamer so i play everything pretty much default and standard however my dead zone i'm gonna up that up to 0 0.06 and my horizontal and vertical stick control is gonna be over on seven sensitivity now that i'm in that high range now if you guys know i've been playing on 6.6 but i decided more recently to jump over to 7.7 and after maybe a couple games maybe a good gaming session or two good gaming sessions for you guys my shot was back to normal that was the one thing i struggled with however my movement i can tell really really did help, help improve especially when it came down to those 180s when you get caught out in the open you're trying to slide cancel there's multiple times that i find myself being able to perform those zigzag movements to get out of a situation like that and not only that if you perfect your movement which i have a movement guy coming out for you guys soon you should be able to turn that seven seven cents to something look something as crazy as a 10 10 to 12 12 and you know we'll go over tips like that but it's good to stay within the six six or seven seven range don't go too high don't go too low the biggest mistake is like the higher you go the faster you'll play and that's not the case i play on seven seven and six six and it looks like i play on 10 10 12 12 aim response Response curve is going to be standard and i'm going to use this for an example when we talk about the newer setting that's going to be a little bit more focused on the movement side of things but aim response curve it all depends on your comfortability for me it's going to be standard it's kind of an in between both that long distance and close distance it doesn't help you as much as dynamic and i think the other option as well but it is something that is going to help you adjust over time and uh there's not going to be a, a time where you have to change the way you aim from long distance to short distance so i go with standard as well control vibration off and then we'll go into aim assist there as well a standard scale aim assist pov enabled ads and melee and all this should be general but we'll go ahead and flash on screen just so you guys can see and now let's get into the exciting stuff under the movement tab which should be the main focus of the video going down to slide behavior tap disabled auto tax print enabled disabled and most importantly the newest category the tactical sprint with three options now we got the double tap we got the second one just single tap from sprint and then we get the last option single tap from run now let's jump into exactly what charlie intel was talking about now the newer update and by the time you're watching this video just about it almost a day now we got a new update in terms of accessibility when it comes down to this category specifically. I'm going to go ahead and read exactly what that tweet is. And during this week, we also got the Iron Trials Trios update. So if you don't know which update I'm talking about, we're talking about when that game mode came out into play. And it's something that went under the radar. Tactical Sprint. Tactical Sprint allows players to eliminate the need for double tap on Analog 6. This often needs to support fire. We kind of already know what Tactical Sprint is. However, we got now three options, which is the ones I just read. And I want to read this direct quote on why they added it. 
We want players to be using tactical positions strategically without the need to choose between auto attack sprint and a physical pain associated to repeated quick presses to the left and right analog sticks. Now, this is something real quick before I go on that I talk highly about on my channel is that your sticks on your controller are some of the most important features because not only do they help you aim, but they help you move. However, that constant need to push down, it's going to grab wear on a controller no matter what controller you use. I'm sponsored by Battle Beaver, but even a Battle Beaver or Scuff or any other controller or default controller, you will put wear on your control and that lifespan will begin to decrease. So I'm kind of glad they added this. Um continuing the option of single tap that runs gives players the ability to use a single button press to go from basic speed to tactical sprint that's transition phase if you guys don't know the single tap from sprint option allows players to opt out a single button press from run to sprint and the new uh, and then another single button to go from a sprint to tactical sprint each of these are available choices that allow players to customize their button functionality and button against and balance that against the individual game style and noise associated with the player movement. Not only is Warzone the game beginning to evolve in terms of, you know, new maps, new guns, but we're now talking about settings and it's good to see the settings slowly transition into new, uh, you know, we got the new Warzone map coming out in Pacific as well. And in simpler terms, this all comes down to, you know, comfortability. Similar to your aim assist, basically, Aim assist has three options. Now tactical sprint has three options. I'm going to see a little bit more of this being played out, especially by the pro players when it comes down to custom games, exactly how they want to play this out. But right now you have three options and I highly recommend there's not enough information to back it up uh, in terms of my own gameplay. I can say, you know, I'm not comfortable with it. It's going to take me a week or two to get used to it. But if you want to jump into it a little bit early, I would highly recommend me trying each one out and going from there. But you know, until we get some more hands-on experience, I don't want you guys, I'm not going to give you guys a set option to change. But to just put it in perspective one more time, it's basically like aim assist having three options, standard, dynamic, and linear. And now we got that tax print option. So let me know what you guys think, man. And then, um, it, it honestly, man, that the recoil into the movement, it, it, we're going to see big changes now coming to Warzone. And I hope you guys subscribe and stay up to date with the latest news. If the gameplay is still going on, hopefully you guys enjoy it. And, uh, you know, we got a movement guy coming out for you guys. We got a hand cam coming out for you guys. We're cooking up. Enjoy the rest of your day, guys. And peace out. No. <laughs> Call me stupid. Hold on. Give me a second. I'm about to do the whole thing to this little f head. Wow, that was toxic. I didn't even get to do it. When to jump? Oh my god, it's from the best window jump, I think. Dude. Lux. Wait, wait, wait. Is this second zone? Is Reaper still... I can get a 30. Wait, let me cycle these. I'm gonna show you're gonna go for a 30. Wait, why is the lobby so dead? I killed them all. I'm cycling these. Can you give me a Yui? Yeah, I got you. I'm actually gonna cycle these. Am I your Yui slut now? For, to, for the next two minutes, yes. I see him, I see him, I see him, I see him. Lucky, I see him, I see him. God. Here we go. In there. Under fire. Oh. I swear you only, you, only, you only use me for kills, dude. Wait, what do you mean? Oh my God, on me. Got him, don't kill anyone else. Thank oh my you. God. Shut up, goat. <laughs> yeah, I'm about to cycle my way to it. 30 bob. <laughs> yeah. Were you gonna leave me? No, 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 it didn't, it didn't. It's on the roof. No, were you gonna leave me? Uh, no. No, you were gonna leave me, bro. I did it on rebirth. UAV is bingo fuel. RTV for resupply. That guy Buffy's knocked, by the way, on the roof. I'm gonna go I'm gonna go do something to him. Enemy soldier incoming. Oh, that guy broke his leg. He did not just do that. Uh, I heard that. Oh, he's going. No, don't kill him. I'm not going to kill him. I'm going to get in the movement, though. That's for sure. He can't hold my movement, bro. I swear to God, I'm a TikTok kid. Waypoint marked. Move. Give it on, that guy. Yep, thank okay, you. This kid's behind. Uh, you know, you see this kid, right? Yeah. <laughs> Okay. What if I hit him with a no scope trick shot? Like I would actually. And then be I join phase before you. Wait, who said I'm joining phase? No, you're 100 joining phase one day. No, I don't want to. No, uh, you want to go with uh, you want to go with 100 thieves, huh? No, I don't want to. Oh, you're gonna Not scare me. He's gonna die. No. Oh my god. Did you cheater. Die? The cheater in the game. 
Are you investing? I'm not touching you. It's kind of no dirty. Shots. No shots. Yeah, I would never. I would never. I would. Oh. Thank you. Oh. Oh. Dude, you literally got a 30. Cycling this shit. I'm gonna get more too. Are you gonna get the 40 ball? Yeah, I'm gonna cycle my way to a 40. It's too late. We're gonna stable. <laughs> nah, I'm gonna give him money. <laughs> Imagine. <laughs> so. I'm gonna go get in this heli and do something amazing. We should right. definitely trick shot the last kid. Okay, I'm down for that. Can you kill this guy? He's on my heli. Yeah. Oh, right here, right here. Where? Oh. oh. Last one's over there at the red thing too. Yeah, I'm gonna get the guy one. close. Yeah. Probably. Oh no. He got a top. The other guy's pushing me, bro. This is not good. He's pushing me like crazy. I don't know he's... Oh, he's behind you. He's behind you. Yeah. Are we trick shotting him? Yeah, 100%. I'm gonna go grab the heli. Let's go, baby. It's gonna be crazy when I do this, Lucky. Listen to me. He's right here. Gonna... No way. He kills me out of this heli. I'm gonna scream. You ready for this Wait, shit? Pick me up, pick me up, pick me up. I wanted to be, I wanted to. Oh, okay, okay. I'm yeah. one shot though, so you might hit my dumb ass. No, no. <laughs> pick me up over here. I'll drive. Alright. He'll drive? Land it, land it, land it, land it. <gasps> you have any plates? Yeah, actually, I do. Here. I'll get the I'll get the I'll get the Alright. I Make see sure you. Kill me, <laughs> Dude, no way. What? Oh my god! Why'd you get out? <laughs> I thought you were about to kill us. Oh! <laughs> no, I put a sentry gun! <laughs> Do I have to win the game? No, no, no. I'm gonna kill him. Watch this. <laughs> oh, I got a hit marker on a cap! I did it to him. I gave it to him. Oh I put my in his god. mouth. I put my in his jaws! <laughs> <laughs>